on a flat, smooth surface, allowing them to acclimate for at least 72 hours to the environment they will be installed in. A written copy of the installation instructions should be included with every shipment as well. Preparing your workspace. Take time now to clear and protect your workspace to ensure a safe and unobstructed work area. Surface preparation. Wall plaster are made to install over a relatively flat and smooth surface that is clean, dry, and free of loose debris. If installing over glossy, plaster or paint, rough up the surface with sandpaper and wipe clean with a damp rag or vacuum. A fresh primer coat on the underlying surface will ensure proper adhesion. Take wall straightness and other obstacles into account. Use a level to mark the wall with guidelines to ensure proper positioning. If working from an open-ended wall into a corner, start with a full tile and work into your corner. On a wall-to-wall -wall install, work from the center out toward your corners. Adhering tiles to the wall. In most installations, you will probably need to cut some tiles. The tiles can be cut with a standard utility knife or power tool. We recommend taping them on cut lines or drill holes with painter's tape to reduce pulp flare. We also recommend using blades and bits designed for finishing work. A quick knockdown sanding along the cut edge will ensure a clean finish. Choose the appropriate adhesive for your install. If using the clay-based wallpaper adhesive, allow the tiles to book for five minutes prior to adhering. You can snugly position the tiles next to one another for minimal seam appearance or for a near seamless installation, a 1 16th inch gap must be left evenly between the tiles when gluing up. Primer coat. After adhering the tiles, they must be sealed and protected properly with a primer coat before any finishing work is done. Finish work options. A modular product will have visible joints. If this is planned into the design, there is no need for additional work. Most tiles are designed in a manner that the design elements and spacing want to minimize joint appearance without additional finishing work. If you space the tiles when adhering, the gaps need to be filled with sheetrock Easy Sand 45 or sheetrock Durabond joint compound. Typically this requires two coats. The first coat will be mostly for filling the gaps. Keep it clean to avoid excess sanding later. If you need a quick knockdown sanding to smooth the joints out, do it between coats. Do not over sand. The second coat should be for creating a smooth transition between the tiles. A final sanding will be required to perfect the blending. If you need to go back and address certain areas with additional compound and sanding, now is the time. Wipe clean with a damp rag or vacuum. Detailed finish work. Finishing and exposed edge. Primer the inside of the void to ensure it is sealed properly. Fill with a generous amount of easy sand compound, keeping it clean to avoid excess sanding later. When the compound dries, apply additional coats until you have a smooth edge. Finish sand and paint with the wall. Use extension boxes for outlets and switches to bring them out past the wall flats. Cut tiles to fit the box opening and finish clock around the edges for a smooth transition. Painting the tiles. Once satisfied with the finishing work, make sure the surface is free of dust and apply final primer and paint coat. For a written version of the